you know, I'm getting a lot of complaints here from people talking about they're mad about me putting everybody's business in the street. Really, I'm not. The only people I'm talking about are the people who've committed crimes against me and my family that wrongfully got my kids taken and my property wrongfully taken without due process. You know, we've got a news reporter here who went into Woodlands and purposely lied on two assessments. God knows how many others she lied on in order to have my kids wrongfully removed, my daughter in particular. How many other assessments did she do? How many other people did she lie on? This is a news reporter from Channel 16. She ought to be ashamed of herself. Melissa Stevens. Then we've got people like William Carpenter and Tara Carpenter. Her, her maiden name is Woods, by the way. Who, you know, are being court-ordered kids for foster care. Mr. Carpenter, he actually went by the name Anderson in his prison record. And he was convicted of child abuse, but they're court ordering him to have foster kids. I'm supposed to tell on that. The man burnt my daughter with a space heater and he hit a little kid in the head with a crowbar. That's the reason he went to prison was for hitting the kid in the head with the crowbar. Then we've got other people who have other criminal records that are being allowed to um, do uh, take care of elderly and, and other things. People that have committed rape and other stuff. You know, we've got a system that's supposed to weed these people out. But we've got people like Levita Brooklyn over here, you know, a supervisor, who are altering the background checks for her family members in order to wrongfully get them um, positions that they are not entitled to and don't qualify for. This is a, a problem that is throughout Michigan. And, you know, I pray it's not throughout the rest of the country, but unfortunately it may just be. I'm supposed to tell about those things. I'm allowed to defend myself and I'm allowed to do what I'm supposed to do legally within my means to get my daughter returned home because she was wrongfully removed. And there's a lot of people who lied in the situation. I've got proof and documents. The court doesn't deny it. I think they want my case to go to the Supreme Court. That's where it's going next is the Michigan Supreme Court because there's stuff I laid out in there that can be used in bills. Um, stuff that can be used to help our community. That's why this is taking so long. And I'm using it as an opportunity to soften the blow because there's some stuff that people did here is really bad. And, you know, the stuff that the people on the other side did is even worse. So I just wanted people to have our air, our dirty laundry aired on my side so that it was over with. And by the time it was got to, it was old news. Now these people turn, the criminals, and they've got some explaining to do. Have a blessed day.